market doesn't control your business, only you do. Closings are happening by the truckloads every day, ladies and gentlemen. So I've got three laws to building a predictable business. Okay, the first law is visualization. The second law is attraction. And the third law is accumulation. Okay, so again, allow me to reiterate, because if, if I keep pounding you with it, I think you might actually leave here realizing it. The market doesn't control your business, only you do. Closings are happening by the truckloads every day, ladies and gentlemen, okay? It's unlimited forever, okay? Do, who, does anyone not understand? Good, we're on the same page. We're making some headway here. The first law of building a predictable business, because I want you guys to walk out that door knowing where we're going to be in the next year, two years, five years, ten years. The first step is visualizing where you're going to be. Long before I was the number one REMAX agent in Alabama, I was the re number one REMAX agent in Alabama in my mind. I saw who the number one REMAX agent was in Alabama, and I said, I can do that and I can do it better. And it took me several years because I knew I had the formula, I just had to execute but I had visualized it. When I got back in the business in 2008, there were tons of foreclosures, massive amounts of foreclosures. And there were these agents who were getting all the listings. And it kind of hurt my feelings. It actually, what happened was, the bad part about it was, is that when you call one of those agents, they never answer the phone. Does anybody know an agent that just doesn't answer the phone? Okay. Well, that's what these agents were back in the day because they knew they were gonna get all the listings from the bank, they were just processing the deals, they didn't have to talk to anybody. The bank was gonna give them all the listings and they literally just email the offer and submit it and uh, you know, we'll process it and boom. They didn't care about the actual people part, they didn't care about answering their phones or anything of that nature. I said, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be one of those guys. I'd love to make money and not have to answer my phone, it sounds awesome. Doesn't it sound awesome? Don't, don't all of you wish you could just have a real estate business and not answer your phone and make a ton of money? Some agents do that somehow. I hadn't, figured, I hadn't figured that one out. When I do, I'll start coaching you guys on that. But until then, but I said, I want to be one of those agents. So I, did, I went through all the research. And I did all the stuff. And I started the process. And I realized after a couple months, this is horrible. <laughs> this is this is too much. I don't want to go through this. The process was too strenuous. There was there was so much involved. So many, you had to go through so much red tape and and jump through so many hoops. I said no, no, no. And then I took a step back. And I looked at the market and I said, wait a minute, bingo! I got it. I'm going to since I value relationships over transactions, I'm going to represent the buyers buying these foreclosures from all these agents, processors, if you will. And a couple years later, what's going to happen? The prices are going to go up, foreclosures are going to go away. Those buyers are now sellers. They call me to sell their property for a profit and flip it into something else and refer three people to me in the process. And I said, I'm going to plant the seeds now. And then in three years, it was in my mind, it was three years. In three years, I'm going to blow up because of all the foreclosures I sold and all the work I put in to represent these buyers, they're gonna call me back to list, then I'm gonna have all the foreclosures that are out there now, people are jealous that these agents have all the listings, I'm gonna have all those listings because I represented the buyers now. They're gonna sell, upgrade, refer, and then those referrals are gonna buy, sell, upgrade, and refer. And I said, this is gonna be a trickle effect, this is how I'm gonna do it. I, I saw all this happening. Sometimes you got to take a step back. See me take a step back? Sometimes you have to take a step back and look at the market for a second and say, wait a minute, there's an opportunity right there. And that could lead to something right here, three years later, where I could actually be in a position where right now it doesn't sound great, showing briars all these properties and running around and stuff. It doesn't sound, you know, fabulous. But where's that going to put me in three years from now when I'm just getting listings and referrals like crazy? That was my mindset. 
That was, that was what put me, honestly, to becoming the number one REMAX agent was visualizing that moment and taking advantage of it and executing for years. So I don't know what your visualization moment is and it'll come to you, right? As you're watching things, as you're watching people, as things happen. But the first step to building a predictable business is, well, the first law not the first step. You may do some of these other things before, so it's not necessarily a step, it's a law, is to visualize where you wanna be and know in your mind you're already there. To me, honestly, the Ricky Carruth brand is a billion dollar brand, just in my mind, because I know that's where it's gonna be. Not there yet, but I know where it will be, right? I'm visualizing that, it'll happen. I visualized that all of you would be here today. It happened. Visualization goes so far. Law number two, attraction. When you think about attraction, guys, number one, you have to think about what actually attracts humans to other humans, okay? It's that they have things in common. It's that they relate to each other, okay? But one thing that's been big for me is just literally just being myself. And who am I? Who is Ricky Carruth? I'm just a hardworking guy that cares about people. People love hardworking people. They love to see people working hard. And if you're a consistent hard worker, the, longer you, the, the, the more consistently you can work hard over the longest period of time, the more people love you and the more people respect you. And the bigger audience, the bigger fan base, the bigger database you're going to have because people are drawn to you. The third, the third law of accumulation, of being, building a predictable business, is the law of accumulation. Okay, so let's think about it for a second. First, we want to visualize where we want to go. Okay? Now, then we want to attract people and build a personal brand. Okay? Now we need to think about accumulation. Everything in life that's successful comes from accumulation over time. Everything. Investing, success, it's all accumulation over time. It all takes time to accumulate. Everybody should know what my golden rule is right? For, for daily results. It's not a listing appointment or a closing or whatever you value as a result, or most agents do, but it's just to create five new friends with property owners in your market every day. Now, back when I was doing this, I was just going for two. I just wanted two. See, you, what you guys don't understand is that back then when I was doing this, the data sucked. The data you get with the snap of a button is amazing data, and you guys complain about it. After 500 calls, this doesn't work. It's a bunch of wrong numbers. There's disconnected things in here. Go back to 2005 with me and let's have a ride. All that work I put in to have nowhere near the data you guys get today. Nowhere near the data you guys get today. I was going for two a day. But you guys can easily do five in two hours and still have six hours to do way more production than I ever dreamed of. So think about the law of accumulation. Five a day, okay? Five a day is 20. Five in a week, 100 in a month, 1,200 in a year, 24 and two, 36, 48, okay? Four years, we're talking about 5,000 friends or property owners in our market, okay? Question, if you had 5,000 voice-to-voice friendships created, data collected, weekly emails going out to 5,000 property owners in your market, how big is your business? You are probably the number one agent in your market at that point. That's enough to carry you to being the top agent in your market. And it was all from just five a day, five a day. Even if you did two a day, you're talking about thousands over a couple years, thousands. The law of accumulation and realizing where we're gonna be in two years, five years, 10 years, right? You can predict, you can literally predict where your business is gonna be. If you visualize it, if you understand the law of attraction and you understand the law of accumulation and where those numbers are gonna end up after year one, two, three, four, five, ten. 